All right, we'll perform the indicated uh, operation on this one. The problem that we have is a lot of people would just say, well, I got this x to the 11th and this x to the 11th, so I can just combine the 75 and the 12. No, that is not how this is going to work. We have to have everything the same on the inside of that square root, okay? So what this means is that we need to simplify, we should simplify everything. So for example, 75 is going to split up into the square root of uh, 3 times 25 times x to the power of 11. And this would end up being, I guess maybe I should have switched those, the square root of 3 times the square root of 25 times the square root of x to the 11. So this is the square root of 3 times 5 times the square root of x to the 11th. So we can change this to 5 times the square root of 3. x to the 11th, um, well, I'm going to change that to the square root of x to the power of x to the power of 10 times x to the power of 1. Which will allow me to take change uh, take out this x to the power of 10. The square root of that is x to the power of 5. So I still have x to the power of 1 on the inside of that. And then I can take this a little bit further. Just by rearranging everything. So I got 5 times x to the power of 5. Times the square root of 3x. All right. We're going to subtract. We got a 6 times the square root. I'll do 4 times 3 times x to the 11th. So this is 6 times the square root of 4 times the square root of 3. I'm going to take, uh, I'm going to factor out this x to the 11 stuff and make it x to the power of 10 times x to the power of 1, just like we did before. So this now becomes 6 times 2 times, I can rearrange this x to the power of 10 times 3 times x to the power of 1. So that's 12 times the square root of x to the 10th times the square root of 3x, which would be 12 times x to the 5th times the square root of 3x. Well, and this is why this is important is now I've got an x to the 5th Here's an x to the fifth, so those are like. And I've got the square root of 3x and the square root of 3x for both terms, which are like terms. Having both of those, and that it is conditional on that, means that I have like terms. So now I had as like terms, I had x to the fifth and the square root of 3x. All I've got to do is combine 5 and this minus 12. So 5 minus 12 is negative 7, and that would be my final answer.